Welcome to the Light Technology Institute from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. It's one of the three institutes where this work was carried on. The other one is the Institute of Microsoft Technology in Campus North, KIT. And the third one is Coltech in California, where our collaborator, uh, Radwan Sidik, is working at the moment. So my name is Guillaume Gomal. Uh, I'm a group leader here for the nanophotonics activities. So we have one group working mostly on biomimetic and the other one which is more optics applied to optoelectronics, so how to build devices. And within this group we were basically three awardees and uh, we have different backgrounds all belonging to KZOP at different levels. So Donny was a master student uh, from the KZOP and uh, continue as a PhD student. Uh, I'm a KZOP mentor who joined in 2013 and uh, Radwan was both a uh, a master student from the KZOP and continue with uh, a PhD degree also belonging to the KZOP. I am Yitna Kacho Doni. Uh, I am originally from Ethiopia. Uh, I did uh, my bachelor in electrical engineering uh, back home in Ethiopia. And then afterward uh, I moved to uh, Germany and joined Karlsruhe School of Optics and Photonics. Uh, I joined the program because it was fascinating. Uh, there were a lot of multidisciplinary uh, courses. And then uh, during my master study, uh, I did my master thesis on optical investigation of black butterfly. And from there, I continued my PhD on the same project. I am Radwan Hassan Sabi. Uh, so I'm a postdoc at California Institute of Technology uh, in Pasadena, in California. In the US. So my, my PhD was all about like studying butterflies and how the nanostructures make the uh, nice colors of different butterflies. And apparently uh, I came across butterflies which has this interesting nanostructures which makes it black. And I was studying like how the blackness comes from these nanostructures and eventually how it can be used for solar cells. And then I met Guillaume, who works on solar cells, and then that works perfectly. Biomimetics is a hot research topic right now, uh, even though this is actually not so new. I mean, uh, it's about finding original solution that can help us to solve some uh, technical challenges by taking inspiration from nature. So this is a general definition of biomimetics. And when I say this is not new, actually, if you think about uh, Leonardo da Vinci, he already took inspiration from the birds for making some flying objects. And uh, this is pretty old, but nevertheless, it becomes a very important research topic from the 90s. And I would say that now uh, it brings a lot of different scientific community together and it's a very active uh, research domain. When I talk about biomimetics, it means different things. So sometimes uh, the idea is directly to replicate an idea found from nature and to reproduce it artificially. But in our case, and for the case of the black butterfly, I would say it was more bio-inspiration in the sense that we analyzed the optical properties and the black butterfly to understand what are the very important parameters and taking inspiration from this, we try to reproduce it artificially. So it's not exactly mimicking or copying the role model, but it's more like taking inspiration and engineering a solution which looks like, like this black butterfly. It's actually a species living in uh, Southeast Asia. And the particularity of this butterfly is that it's extremely black, which means that it should absorb extremely well uh, the sunlight. Uh, the goal is here to absorb as much light as possible to um, increase the efficiency of the new solar cells. So we could see a direct connection between this butterfly and the excellent light harvesting properties of this butterfly and what we try, the challenge we try to address in our daily research. And here the idea is that you make a better usage of the lights to increase the device performance, basically. So you can use less electricity or you can produce more electricity with the same amount of collected light. The other aspect that we try to develop is for healthcare applications. And this is a bit less straightforward if you think about butterfly, but actually the, the structures which are found on this black butterfly can be useful for creating uh, some chips that are used for biosensing and this is extremely important for healthcare application for example if you want to detect the molecules um, you need a good sensing uh, technique for that and we have found that uh, using our light scattering nanostructures so basically the structures found in this black butterfly they can be reproduced and they can help for improving the sensing of those biomolecules. 
So in that sense, uh, the, the range of application is rather broad. So really, uh, our goal is to make a better impact on the society, both in terms of uh, energy usage, but also in terms of uh, health care. So inspired by the cellular phase separation in the butterfly wing scale, uh, we fabricated this uh, kind of disorder nanostructure uh, using a scalable self-assembly process based on phase separation technique. So the, here what you see is the 3D AFM uh, profile of the fabricated structures uh, using the phase separation technique. Our colleague Radwan is working in Coltec in California, but we have still this uh, collaboration ongoing. So now the idea is more to uh, upscale the problem and to really uh, advance on the prototyping. So it's also the reason why we try to be in contact with companies, because from the original idea and from the original inspiration we had from the back butterfly, we would like to turn this into a product eventually. So I would say that's the, the most challenging thing that we are facing at the moment. And we are extremely excited to continue this collaboration between Germany and the US at the same time. Once you understand the optical mechanisms and when you manage to produce those nanostructures, you need to implement them in devices. And here you need the contribution from uh, PhD students or different scientists who know how to build those devices and who know how to uh, characterize them. So here, I would say the environment of KZAP was extremely uh, useful because we need different type of competences from coming from uh, optical characterization, nanofabrications and device engineering.